But God said, you can have my trade secrets. This is how I got the job done. But I want to tell you, each time you make that statement of faith, something happens. Check it. The beginning of creation to the end of Genesis chapter 1. And God said, and God said, and whatever God said, God got not what he wished. God got what he said. God kind of faith starts with speaking. If you have the God kind of faith, you will say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea as one lump, but believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. So he's saying, when you approach a situation that is far beyond any known solution. Address it with words. Welcome to FaithWorks, the enlightening and empowering program that builds your faith to help you overcome every single challenge in this life. My name is Kao Adeshoga. I'm your host. I want you to sit back, listen, and be blessed. God bless you. The Romans 4. I read from verse 13. For the promise that Abraham should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they were of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect. Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end. The promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to also that which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. So he says you can access that promise by faith. As it is written, but come to look at it. It's by words we make heaven, and it's through words People go to hell. It's by words God establishes himself in all that he does. I notice, and it dawned on me, that nothing was absolutely set for Jesus to accomplish, except he set it in motion himself. Then it dawned on me, there was nothing he did that he didn't first talk about. The Son of Man shall go to Jerusalem. He shall be beaten and crucified. If he stop there, that's the mess. He shall be killed. And on the third day, he shall be raised again from the dead. Wow. Say, so the Lord, my Father told me I have power to lay down my life. I have power to pick it up again. Said, so you shall see the Son of Man again in glory. And everything that would happen in his life... He kept saying it ahead of time. One of the advantages in life is if you know what God wants to accomplish in your life, which is one of the God kind of faith, which is what he did with Abraham. He didn't say, you know, Abraham, Abraham was exalted father. Let me first stop. Let me first go to Romans. Let me finish Romans 4. We see another operation of the God kind of faith, of how God gets results. But there was nothing Jesus did that he didn't first talk about. If was, as they told him Lazarus, he said this has going to end. He time they said this, this has going to end. When they said that, he said this is going to happen. They told him, what shall be the sign? He said, the son of man shall go, there shall be pestilence, there shall be this, there shall be that. But before they persecute and kill you, I will return and I will come back. And he kept talking about his return. And it's good you begin to say it over your children in your life. Say, you... You will graduate with flying colors. Then I want you, you go to the university. And when you graduate, you add another skill to your whatever degree you have. You will work for a while. Then you go into business and be an entrepreneur and begin to do this and this and that. Then you'll be far, far greater than I and your mother has ever been or we ever dreamed we could ever be in life. Ooh. Jesus Christ, glory. Hallelujah. I wonder what those children will be if that's all they keep hearing every day. Look at Godwin. 
He said, I want a daughter. He said, is it not someone that gave birth to these great women in this life? I want it. Boom! And the prayer changed. And God said, in response to what you said, I've answered that, that statement. And the prayer changed. And the wife gave birth to a daughter. I didn't know. At the name, I said, this is a great child. You were there. He never told me anything. This one is greater than all who have been before her. I said, wow. This one carries an apostolic authority. But I don't know whether it's in politics or it's in business or it's in ministry. But this one shall be known in every corner of the earth. God, we said, that's what I ask of the Lord. He said, we agreed in prayer you have a son. But I said, is he not a human being? He gave birth to Angela Merkel, Theresa May, and all these great women in the life. I want one like that. And instead of having a son, she had a daughter. He said, I'm the course pastor. God answered your prayer. But it's for me. And he heard my heart desire. And he gave me. And at the naming, I kept saying, those of you who are the naming, he's a great child, great woman. Nations of the world will tremble at her presence. When they see her, they will know a general has arrived. This is mighty. This is powerful. Godwin, how did you get this child? What is this? How did this come into your hand? How did you get this? It was an utterance that God honored. Be careful what you say. Watch your mouth and you watch your life. Be careful what you say. Have you noticed even politicians that have not been convicted, I don't call them thieves. How many of you noticed that? I don't do it. Many are thieves, but all are not thieves. They are still straight people. They are still men of dignity and honor in this country, even in governance. People who have not stolen and leave you right. You call him a thief, God will call you and say, come and give account of that statement, how this man stole. And if you can't explain it, you will lose reward. Is it worth losing reward because you just couldn't keep your mouth? Bible says, on that day, he shall wipe away the tears from their eyes. Why are they crying? Because they will lose rewards. From what? From utterances, mostly. So because you said this, you have lost this. You couldn't clarify it. You call that, that leader a thief. We checked his books. He's not a thief. He didn't steal. He only took what was right, what rightly belonged to him. For that, you have lost reward. Is that worth it? Romans 4, verse 17, as it is written, have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God, who quickeneth the dead, calleth those things which be not, as though they already were in existence. This is how the God kind of faith also behaves. The Bible says in Genesis 18, 17, Genesis 17, the Lord appeared to Abraham. Abraham meant exalted father. And the Lord said to him, from now on, I want your name to be called, sorry, his name was Abraham. I want your name to be called Abraham. Meaning, now, you are now, not later, now, the father of many nations. You are, not will be, you already are, yet without an issue, the father of many nations. The Bible says God preached the gospel to Abraham. That means God was teaching Abraham how he gets things. He said, Abraham, get, solve this problem the way I solve things. And it will solve. I don't need to solve it for you, but let me teach you how to solve it. This is what I do. Now, do it. Call yourself the father of men. And everyone would have said, but there's no issue. How am I? I'm not even father of one child. You are saying I'm father of many nations. You are. They told Gideon. Thou. Now, here's a great man who was the, the nation of Israel was ravaged by the Moabites. Now, here's Gideon in a cave, threshing wheat where they do wine. That means he can't even get to where they do the wine. He's scared. The angel appeared to him. That angel has been taught the God kind of faith. I said, thou mighty man of valor. 
It is a Gideon scared running from the Moabites. I've come to encourage you. When the angel appeared to me, he said, Hey, thou mighty woman, that favored one, great and mighty mother of thousands and of ten thousands. Goodness. You first turn and say, Wow. Oh. Say, Angel, the person you're speaking to, is she, another angel invisible, say, You. You said, Mother of thousands and of ten, said, It's you. Me, say, Yes. That's who you are. That's the God kind of faith. That's the faith that gets, those are the languages that gets results. Did you hear me? Those are the languages that commands results. That is how the God kind of faith speaks. Father of nations. Father of nations. Multitudes and of thousands and of ten thousands. Employer of labor of the hundreds of their thousands. That somebody still looking for a job. But you know the inspiration is there. No, not just somebody looking for a job. No. The inspiration is there. It has just not come out. The capacity is there. It's just not out. Then you can look at such a man and say, employer of hundreds of thousands of both skilled, semi-skilled, and unskilled laborers. I'm calling him into greatness. You can't employ hundreds of thousands if you don't have great empires. Praise Jesus. God told Abraham, you shall be called Abraham from now on. Now, it was God that gave him that name. He didn't develop it. Remember, Jesus looked at Simon. He said, Simon, Simon. Simon means not stable. Neither here nor there. You saw how he behaves. Not stable. He said, thou shalt be called Cephas. He didn't say, okay, Simon, unstable as the wind, right? Neither here nor there. Thou shalt be called what? Cephas. It took three and a half years for him to become Cephas. But even as that call was made Cephas, he still said, I never knew him. That means he behaved like what? Simon. But he, the God kind of faith, says you believe what you say. The Bible says on the next day, that next day, when they saw the fig tree dried up, could be one year, could be two years, could be three and a half years. But while the tree was still not looking dried up in three and a half years, Peter was behaving like Simon. So I never knew him. I don't know this man. I swear I've never met him before. When Jesus resurrected, he became Cephas. He told the Sir Henry, tell us who to obey, God or man. Cephas had taken root. And it will take root. Amen. The God kind of faith does not speak in this wise. Who shall go up to heaven and bring Christ down? How shall it be? What shall we eat? What shall we drink? How with shall we be closed? He says the God kind of faith declares the end of a matter. And he declares what it wants, it says what does not exist as if it already were in existence. It maintains what it says. And, you know, the children of Israel spoke into God's ears and they gave him two options. They said, all that would have gone back to Egypt when we ate cucumbers and chicken or our carcass had died in this wilderness. And the Lord said, I'll choose for you. Your carcass will die in this wilderness. If you go back to Egypt, you are doomed. And I guess God, too, Jesus too gave God two options. This sickness will not lead to death, but God shall be glorified. God said, I'll choose one for you. I will be glorified. So the sickness led to death. Don't give God options to choose. Tell him what he should do. 
Do you desire to live and operate God's way of doing things? Do you desire to understand how faith works? Fundamentals of Faith is a book written by Kayode Adeshoga. It teaches in simple terms how to operate the God kind of faith that helps you overcome all hurdles of life. Fundamentals of Faith is available for purchase at Trem Bookshop Obani Koro Lagos and Bible Wonderland Stadium Surulere Lagos. Get a copy today. Did you hear me? Don't give God options what to choose from. Simply tell him what he must do. I'll leave it there for now. Do you desire to live and operate God's way of doing things? Do you desire to understand how faith works? Fundamentals of Faith is a book written by Kayode Adeshoga. It teaches in simple terms how to operate the God kind of faith that helps you overcome all hurdles of life. Fundamentals of Faith is available for purchase at Trem Bookshop Obani Koro Lagos and Bible Wonderland Stadium Surulere Lagos. Get a copy today. God kind of faith, which you're all going to walk in. Amen. I told God Hebrews 11 is going to be extended by the number of seats and number of people in this ministry. Amen. So if this ministry has 100,000 followership, then we have the Hebrews 11 extended by 100,000. Because I'll finish my course with joy. Amen. I will fulfill what is written in the volume of the books Amen. concerning me I'll present you faultless before the almighty God. I shall lose none of you, none to death, none to sickness, none to poverty. But I'll present you with great joy before the throne of the great God Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus shall see the labor of his soul and he shall be satisfied. And that day when I present you, the Lord will look and be satisfied. In the name of Jesus. How? Because I'll present you without fault. With exceeding joy. To the glory of his name. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I prophesy. Everything you are going through. That is not glorifying God. You will come out of it. You will come out of it. You will come out of it. And the name of Jesus. Will be glorified in your lives. In the name of Jesus. Your life will bring glory to God. In the name of Jesus, you are a light that cannot be extinguished. You are a candle that cannot be put off. You are a city on a hill. You are said to be made manifest. You will manifest. You will manifest. You will manifest. In the name of Jesus. I like that Bible reading of three weeks ago. And it said, there is an end to all things. Say, so how often has it been from youth? Ah, well, it has come to an end today. Sickness. Yeah. Hospital today, hospital tomorrow. This is not yet the God kind of faith. I want, no, I want to t- the, the t- pray. It has come to an end. But the way it has ended, you have triumphed over it. Amen. You are now healthy. Amen. Where you are in debt, you are now a lender to nations. Amen. You lend to kings and to kingdoms Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are like gold coming out of fire. Amen. When gold comes out of fire, it comes out better. All the dross is removed. Then its carat changes. Then when it was 12, maybe when it was 24 carat, it now becomes, sorry, which is higher, 24 carat, Abby? When it was 9 carat, it now becomes 18 carat. So you are coming out better Amen. than you went in, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The number of your days you will fulfill. Amen. You fulfill it in peace. Amen. You fulfill it in prosperity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will live till a ripe old age. In that ripe old age, your eyes will not be dim. Amen. Your natural strength will not reduce. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As your days increase, your strength will increase. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 2019, you will reap your harvest. <coughs> you will reap your harvest. Amen. You will reap your harvest with joy. 
You will reap your harvest with joy. You know, some can reap with grief. You will reap with joy. He said, we were returning singing. You will return singing. You will return dancing. You will return glorifying God. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I prophesy peace to every raging storm around you. Storms trying to drown your boat. I command it to be peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord make a way for you where there is no way. May he make a way for you where there is no way. May the lines fall onto you in pleasant places. Where men try to ridicule you, let God lift you up. Strengthen you. Make your head rise. Far above your contemporaries. In the name of Jesus. Where you have been forgotten, the Lord remembered Noah. He is not a partial God. He will remember you. He's remembering you now. He's remembering you now. He's remembering you now. In the name of Jesus. Carriers of your peace, they will remember you. The star leading them to you, it will guide them to your house. In the name of Jesus. Whatever those wise men are carrying that is meant for you, they will deliver it into your hands. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Say, I have the God kind of faith. Say, I have the God kind of faith. Say, I believe as Jesus believed. I speak as Jesus spoke. I have results even more than Jesus had. As no demon could stand before Jesus. There is no demon, no witch, no wizard that can stand before me all the days of my life. I trample over serpents, over scorpions, over all the power of the enemy. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can hurt me in the name of Jesus. I have given. People are going out of their way. They are giving back unto me. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Men are running at a scatter. They are pouring unto me their strength. Their riches, their gold, their silver, in the name of Jesus. Say, I have the mind of Christ, and I know all things. I have the mind of Christ, and I know all things. I have the mind of Christ, and I know all things. I move from glory to glory, and glory to glory, with exceeding joy. Say, thanks be to God, who causes me to triumph at all times, and causes the fragrance of his knowledge to be dispelled through me. I triumph at all times in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Say so the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, I acceptable before God, my maker, my redeemer, the rock of Israel. Amen. Amen. Said my high priest, the apostle, the apostle of, my of my confession, Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Christ. At, no time, at no time, at no time, wavered, wavered to collect my words. Because the words I speak, they are words of life. They minister life to the hearers. At every time I speak, he collects my word and he performs it. In the name of Jesus. He's a high priest of my profession. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Let me tell you how you were in 2019. Sorry. Look how you have ended 2019. With exceeding joy. Testimonies. Where 10 people are to give testimonies, you alone give the nine. Amen. In your finances, Amen. in your health, Amen. in your marriage, Amen. in your work with God, Amen. in your career, Amen. in your business, Amen. in every aspect of your life. Amen. Say, heaven has put the spotlight on you. And so you are with exceeding joy. You have been made exceeding glad. I have been made exceeding glad. Heathens are rejoicing with me. 
the unbelievers are rejoicing with me. And many gather unto me, acknowledging that I've been blessed by God. Let me tell you how in 2019, it has been noised abroad that God has blessed the house, not Obedido, or the house of Kaldai De Shoga in the name of Jesus. It has been noised abroad. Let me ask you, what will they noise abroad? That you got visa? Or that you bought a car? It has been noised abroad that the house of Kaldai De Shoga is blessed in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you how it ended 2019. How it ended. My goodness. I will end it by entering to 2020. I will end it by entering to 2020. <laughs> because someone can still end it. But that's how I also end it. By entering to 2020. In peace. With great joy. And God being glorified. In my life. In Jesus' name. How is it with you? It is well with me. How is it with you? How is it with your finances? How is it with your health? James, how is it with your health? How is it with your health? How is it with your health? It is well! I believe you have been blessed by that message. And I know your faith has been built up. And I know all those challenges in life are all going to fall before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know Hebrews 12 says, Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. You need him in this walk. And so if you're out there and you don't have Jesus in your life, I want you to say after me, say, Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you're the only begotten Son of God. Come into my life, be my Lord and my Savior. It's as simple as that. Displayed on the screen is diverse information on how you can interact and reach out to us. Take advantage of it, and I'll be expecting to hear from you. Till I come your way again same time next week, I want to tell you, don't give up. Faith works. It's working, and it will work in your life. God bless you.